just like anybody, we have our stakeholders and they want to know what, what their funding is, is going towards. And so this is where we can help quantify that beforehand. And then at the end, when, when there's a final evaluation, we'll relook at these numbers and sort of get a more up-to-date figure. But yeah, this is where we look at, at um, both the location of the young people that will be engaged, as well as the gender, uh, as well as the age group, which are sort of the three definitions that we we use when looking at what our engagement are um and so you know this year where there is a potential focus on remote learning we understand that that might be a little bit more difficult in terms of the um location so we just asked you to sort of provide a best estimate um maybe based on what your marketing is or, or where your what organizations you might be working with um this is by no means set in stone you know we are a, a friendly or uh, flexible charity so you know we understand things can change and if anything in the past year has taught us is that you know things change um but we you know we, we just have to roll with the punches and we we understand that so you know we appreciate that things um might not be exactly like this when when you get to the end um but we, we just ask that you try and give your best estimate um it's a it's a two-part question as well the first part is sort of asking about those those three um quantifiable definitions of, of your target audience the second part is bit more specific. So we say that Digextra Fund is looking to engage all young people across Scotland. And ultimately, that is absolutely our goal. We would love for every young, young person in Scotland to have access to extracurricular digital tech activities. Um, but we do have three target audiences based on the current situation being that some young people in Scotland, unfortunately, have less opportunity to engage with extracurricular tech than others. And so the first one of those is areas of high deprivation. Um, so if your project is specifically targeting an area of high deprivation, we ask you to complete this uh, question 3B um, and that first section, high deprivation. Similarly, if you're looking at um, targeting young people in areas of rural isolation, there's a, a part there. And the third one is young, uh, young people who are in audiences underrepresented in tech. And, and usually this means girls and young women, although it doesn't exclusively have to mean that. Now, if you're not targeting one of those three groups, it doesn't mean that you're not eligible. You're still encouraged to apply. Um, but we just ask that if you are to highlight that in this section, um, because again, those are, are three areas, especially in, in the short term that we are focusing on because of the lack of representation in the tech sector.